Hello everybody, good afternoon. It's uh, Tuesday, October 2nd. It's about 4.30. I'm in that little period right now where uh, all the grain is fed and I gotta wait for a little while. I want them to eat all up their grain. Before I feed it, push in the hay and um, everything else. I gotta fork some straw down yet here tonight too, which literally takes about 15 minutes. So. I'm at that little point right now, so I thought I'd make a little video for you, uh, give you an update on uh, what's going on. It, it's been a little bit of a dead day, to be honest with you. The biggest thing on my plate today had nothing to do with the farm. Um, <clears throat> if you caught in one of my videos yesterday, one of my five, I'll leave that alone. Um, my sump pump went out in the basement uh, yesterday mid-morning, and I'm pretty thankful the only reason I really uh, knew about it or felt that there was a problem was because the uh, the sink in the kitchen upstairs, main part of the house, was gurgling. Well, this isn't right. Something's wrong. <clears throat> sure as hell, I went down the basement. Some pump fried. It was it was getting hot. It was it was smelling. And uh, pretty thankful about that because you just never know. But anyway, I caught it. The pump was fried. Um, well, let me tell you something. That sump pump and the sump hole controls laundry, shower, bathtub, dishwasher, sinks. Everything other than, um, yeah. So I go into town yesterday, get a, uh, a new sump pump, and of course, of course me, what do I gotta do? I have to be fancy. I get something a little bit bigger, a little bit better. Uh, it said commercial grade on it, so it must be better, right? <clears throat> it changed up the whole schematics of how the thing was put in. Long story short, I was missing some parts and pieces that I needed that were different. Uh, anyway, I got those today. The sump pumps in. It's working. It's all fine and dandy. Whatever. Okay, that story's over. Um, you're witnessing probably one of the last two lawn mowings of the year. I actually got this all done yesterday. Um, everything's done and picked up. There will be one more lawn mowing, and I bet you that's it. Um, why do I make a big deal about that? Well, number one, it's a beautiful yard. I guess I kind of like to show it, I, I guess. I don't know. Two, I promise you this yard eats up possibly up to 10 hours a week when the grass is really, really growing. Summertime, as long as there's moisture and everything. So that's all done. Um, everything's doing pretty good. Um, I managed to get six more hutches cleaned up here uh, this afternoon and ran the lawnmower, kind of cleaned things up a little bit. Things were getting a little out of control, looking a little, uh, a little hideous. So instead of keeping on with more hutches, I decided to mow some lawn. Of course, this has to be done with the pusher. You're not gonna bring a rider in here. You shouldn't, anyway. I'm going to tackle uh, some more hutches tomorrow. Maybe get them all out of the way. Uh, maybe just half of them. We'll see what happens. Um, so, yeah, this is... Uh, let me stand back here. Kind of a different look here, eh, folks? Feels a little bit like a ghost town, to be honest with you. It's still real weird in the mornings and even the evenings. Um, <laughs> it's just, it feels real weird not to have any bottle calves and mix some milk. But um, yeah, whatever. Understand, I enjoy that, obviously. Okay, enough about that. Um, you guys got my videos yesterday. Um, I talked about the cattle buyer. Um, that's all set in stone, done deal. It's just a matter of what day they're gonna come here. Very busy people, very busy. It's a family operation. They're, they're into a lot of different things. Don't know what day this is gonna happen. 
Um, I told him, perfect world for me, Thursday or Friday. <clears throat> They'll be coming in with one of their big, long stock trailers and picking up all uh, 34, not 35, 34 of them all at one crack. So that'll be good. And like I said yesterday, I'm, I'm real happy with the way things went with the prices and all that. It's, uh, it's real good. It's, uh, things are good. It's good. Got caught up on some phone calls with work today that I'm about to venture back into. Little information and uh, some contacts and getting things ready to roll and whatever. So that's 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 already cooking. It's not a matter of that starting Sunday when I leave, or that Monday morning when I wake up in Dent, when I wake up at headquarters. Um, <clears throat> That that's already it's already started. Information and contacts, you know. There's a lot on the plate right now, and it's all good. Um, beautiful day today. Uh, it's a little chillier this morning. Um, beautiful day. You can probably notice the breeze, and that's about it. Other than that, everything's good. Anything under the, other than this is just mumbling. Um, I will tell you, you'll probably get a video of our corn silage field tomorrow because it is looking stellar. So proud of that field and what it's done with all those hot days that we had and a little bit of moisture that we had, not much. Um, I'm going to do a good video on that. We, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, that's about it, folks. Just wanted to shoot you a video and an update for today. Hope all is well. And, uh. Everybody have a good evening. We'll talk to you sooner than later.